Hi everyone in the world of cloud computing, IoT, AI and fintech. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialist, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. Here are a few news highlights from this week in the fast moving world of cloud computing. Thank you all so much for your support on social media about last week's news and please remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and colleagues. If you have any cloud news media submissions then please email us, email us at media at nelsonhilliard.com. This week Wi-Fi is cracked and the slow breach detection threatens the jobs of CIOs and their data. A security vulnerability discovery in every implementation of Wi-Fi's WPA2 standard has sent the mainstream media into a frenzy this week with warnings of a catastrophic impact on Android devices. Corporate data users are already struggling with the need to detect breaches more quickly than they are already doing and this threat only made their situation worse. Figures have suggested that if you haven't spotted a breach within three hours, the chances are it's already gone. Companies could see money being siphoned away even faster due to banking technology that's set to accelerate the speed at which transfers are cleared. CIOs are turning to the synchronized security approach, although others in the industry are seeking to address the developer's security skills deficiency. This week, Nokia announced a pair of partnerships pushing the company further into the Internet of Things world. Nokia is joining forces with Amazon Web Services and Amazon and Nokia will collaborate to improve cloud migration and wide area networking services for companies using the cloud service, according to ZDNet. The companies will also work together on strategies to facilitate the rising prominence of edge computing devices and the pending introduction of 5G networks. Nokia can leverage its experience as a leading company in communications to provide its services in a collaborative effort in the IoT world. Nokia is joining forces with Bosch and this partnership will focus on asset tracking and advanced data analysis which will join Nokia's connectivity and IoT platform together with Bosch's connected devices and solutions group. Their solution will allow companies to track and collect critical data from their assets enabling predictive maintenance and environmental monitoring that will make the operations more efficient. This week saw MasterCard open its blockchain technology via its API to developers, now allowing select consumers, businesses and banks to begin making transactions using the Ledger technology. MasterCard's blockchain solution can power secure seamless non-card payment transactions including business to business payments and trade finance transactions. The company will initially open its blockchain technology to the B2B space to address issues of speed, transparency and cost in cross-border payments, according to a press release. Ken Moore, Executive Vice President of Mastercard Labs, said, By combining Mastercard blockchain technology with our settlement network and associated network rules, we have created a solution that is safe, secure, auditable and easy to scale. When it comes to payments, we want to provide choice and flexibility to our partners where they are able to seamlessly use both our existing and new payment rails based on the needs and requirements of their customers. IBM and Docker are growing their partnership to help drive container adoption across the public cloud. At DockerCon EU in Copenhagen this week, Docker and IBM announced an expanding partnership that will make it easier for IBM cloud shops to containerize apps with Docker Enterprise Edition and make certified IBM products available in the Docker store. IBM has collaborated with Docker for many years but the expanded partnership signifies a direct effort by IBM to ease the transition to the next generation infrastructure for its customers. Nowhere is this more evident than with the creation of the version of Docker Enterprise Edition for IBM Cloud. According to an IBM press release, the Docker EE for IBM Cloud will allow customers to easily bring up a Docker environment to containerize their existing workloads and run them on IBM. For companies looking for an easy starting point on their journey to containerization apps, they can use the official IBM software that will be certified for use in the Docker store. Software like WebSphere Application Server, WebSphere MQ, and IBM DB2 database will offer the needed images for containers with the added security of knowing they're certified for the use of case. 
employees in Singapore and Australia admit to being snoopers of the corporate networks. This week, a report from One Identity revealed that 94% of Singapore respondents said that employees in their organisation try to access information that is not necessary for their day-to-day -day work. And when the employees themselves were asked, 47% of Singapore employees admitted to looking for accessing information about their company's performance, information that is not required to do their job. In Australia, 83% of respondents say their employees try to seek information and 65% of the employees admit they have searched for or accessed information they did not need. Richard Cooks, the countrywide manager at ANZ One Identity said, even though the majority of threats Australian organisations face due to their own employees tend not to be of malicious intent, the research shows a large amount of intrusive examining of the information from employees when the data is outside their responsibility. In reality, it could be that bit of intrusive meddling that puts organisations in a dilemma. This week saw Amazon Web Services expand Australia cloud presence with the help of NextDC. NextDC's P1 data center has been named as the latest hosting location for AWS Direct Connect. AWS will provide low latency, secure access directly to the AWS cloud from NextDC's Perth data center. A first in the West Australian market, P1 Perth is the only AWS Direct Connect point of presence in Australia outside the eastern states. Craig Scroggy, CEO of NextDC, said, We're very pleased that NextDC is in the select group of the world's leading co-location providers that's been chosen by AWS to host Direct Connect location. The presence of the AWS cloud on the ramp at P1 illustrates the fact that our industry-leading standards have been applied nationwide. We are committed to extending the benefits of the digital age across the country with significant ongoing investments in each of the regions in which we operate. I'm Brad Nelson of Nelson Hilliard, cloud computing recruitment specialists, placing great people in cloud, IoT, fintech and AI. I hope you enjoyed watching this week's cloud computing, IoT, fintech and AI news highlights. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share this video with your friends and colleagues. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn and find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And until next week, be good, be safe and keep our clouds secure.